from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of Dell Technologies World. Digital experience brought to you by Dell Technologies. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World 2020, the digital version. I'm Lisa Martin, welcoming back to theCUBE, one of our distinguished alumni, Travis V. Hill, the SVP of product management for Dell Technologies. Travis, nice to see you today. Hey, how's it going, Lisa? Not bad, nice to connect with you virtually. Of course, this year, everything is so different. You've already done virtual CUBE, so welcome back. Yeah. To our this very socially one. distanced program. Third one, third yeah. lucky. All right. Yeah. So back in May, you were uh, on theCUBE talking about the launch of PowerStore, really what Dell Technologies was doing to um, kind of converge formerly overlapping technologies by acquisitions, Compellent, Extreme IO. Give us an update the last few months of what's going on with PowerStore, customer adoption, momentum, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, it's it's been um, almost six months that we've launched the product and it's been uh, a, an unbelievable experience. Um, you know, let, let me kind of break it up into a couple of different aspects. First of all, uh, you know, we uh, had to uh, launch PowerStore into a very different world than we had anticipated. Um, the global pandemic is obviously affecting everybody and everybody, you know, and everything around the world. You know, our first uh, priority at Dell is the health and safety of our customers, of our team members, of our partners. And, you know, it was a very interesting experience in that this technology is extremely important to many of our customers that are in essential businesses or businesses that are impacted by what's going on in the world. So uh, even though there's this broad um, you know, backdrop against which we had to, to launch the product, we're still seeing fantastic adoption and fantastic momentum. Since launch, uh, we've shipped uh, worldwide over 40, uh, we've, we've shipped into over 40 different countries already. Um, but, you know, I think to really talk about momentum and what's going on, it's, it's better to talk about specific customers and what they're doing and what they're finding advantageous about the product. Um, start maybe with a, a healthcare example. A uh, healthcare uh, provider in North America chose to adopt PowerStore. It was a multi-million dollar um, deal. And what they were trying to do was modernize their data centers. They had many heritage storage devices in their data centers. Um, there was a lot of technical debt and they wanted to modernize things, make things more autonomous, and at the same time consolidate multiple different data centers into, uh, you know, most st still they had data centers across, across the country and across the world, but they were consolidating into fewer sites. And with PowerStore, because of the efficiency, because of the, the deduplication capability, because of the performance of the array, they were actually able to reduce the annual OPEX they had related to storage expenditures by $3 million per year by, by going to PowerMax. I'm sorry, by going to PowerStore. Um, so that, that was a big one. Uh, another, uh, another good example was an EMEA high-tech cu uh, customer. Uh, they adopted PowerStore because of PowerStore's ability to scale performance and capacity independently. And in the business that they're in, they have two things that they're trying to balance. One is kind of a spiky performance requirement across their different applications. And the other is uh, kind of a, a, a variable and, you know, and, and uncertain growth of data. So the ability to scale performance when they need it and capacity when they need it uh, allowed us to win this, this nearly million dollar uh, deal with them. And then, and then one uh, other one that, that's uh, one of my favorites, uh, uh, an entertainment company in the APJ region. Obviously with, with all of us staying home, uh, I can speak for my, my kids that are you know, remote learning right over my shoulder. There's a lot more video games going on. And so this particular provider uh, was able to do two, uh, three things by installing PowerStore. First, they were able to decrease their backup window from uh, 
multiple weeks to a half a day because of the performance of the array. And the, the other thing they were able to do was to increase video game development efficiency by 25% and decrease cost of storage by 25%. So faster backups, more efficient game development and decreased cost. So those are just a couple of the examples that we have um, for PowerStore. Um, we, we're, uh, we're seeing great adoption, great traction, and really uh, customers and partners are, are really excited about what we've brought to market. You talked about you know, some of the things that are essential that even back in May when PowerStore was launched, no one would have thought here in October, 2020, we'd still be in such a state of you know, massive remote workforce, businesses that we wouldn't have thought like a gaming company and APJ being essential as really being essential. Talk to me about the speed of adoption. For example, the healthcare organization that you talked about in North America, how quickly were you able to enable that organization to upgrade or migrate to power store so that they could achieve not only those business objectives or outcomes that you talked about, but do so in a way where only essential folks needed to be on site if it was on-prem, because of yeah. course that was all the challenges there, right? Yeah, you know, it, it's a it's it's a really good question. Uh, and we had to do, you know, this was a brand new product for us. And in order to enable proof of concepts in, in, nor, in, in, in order to enable our partners to be able to demonstrate the product, it's taken an, an enormous amount of coordination and enormous amount of doing things remotely. And so, uh, you know, it's actually taken a little bit more time uh, than, you know, had we been able to fly people around the world to do it, but we've gotten very proficient at organizing with the customer, being able to host the demonstrations or the proof of concepts remotely, be able to do our, EB, you know, our customer briefings remotely. Um, so it is a new world and a new way of doing it, but we're doing it very effectively. So PowerStore was big from the beginning. There were what, like a thousand engineers working on this. This was yes. the largest beta launch in Dell's history. The largest launching beta that we'd ever did, that we'd ever done, yes. Launching it during a pandemic that yes. was unpredictable and you're seeing tremendous momentum. So walk me through, when you're talking to customers, what are some of the key differentiators that really make PowerStore unique? Yeah, you know, I like to start at at the architecture of the product when I'm talking to a customer about PowerStore. Because um, with storage products, the architecture is the thing that all future features and capabilities are built on. And so when you look at the core architecture of PowerStore, it was a ground up design, a clean sheet design, optimized for the way the world is today and the way the world is going to be. And so it was optimized for the latest and greatest in terms of media, whether that be NVMe or uh, NVMe or uh, SCM. It was microservices based, so that uh, you know it's much more modular in the way that we can develop. And uh, it was built from the ground up with things like performance and efficiency in mind. You know, when we first launched this this array and this this fact is true today, we were bringing a product to market because of the fact that we had built it and optimized it at its core for the way the world is today, that was seven times more performant and three times more responsive than any previous mid-range array that we had brought to market. So that, that core performance is, is kind of point number one. Point number two, Data reduction. Data reduction is, is the new normal. And with PowerStore, we have a guaranteed four to one data reduction. Um, we've actually had a partner that did a test across a broad array of, of uh, uh, mid-range storage devices. They, in, in, and in their particular environment, they saw 4.6 to one data reduction and the closest competitive array that they had in their environment was getting less than four to one. So being you know, uh, very uh, competitive industry leading in data reduction is another key capability. And then if you go back to the core architecture, and I talked about it in the, uh, the high-tech company that I mentioned, the European high-tech company, 
the ability to scale performance and capacity independently in our scale out design is another differentiator. Um, for folks that have been around storage arrays a long time, uh, traditional storage array, uh, you know, you, you would add capacity sometimes when you needed performance, or you'd add performance sometimes when you needed capacity. By being able to separate those two things, customers can really get optimized in their environment for what they're trying to, uh, what their, their needs are. They need more performance, they can add more performance, they need more capacity, they can add more capacity. So I, I put those three things in the core architectural um, differentiation that's resonating with customers and partners. And then above and beyond that, we brought some industry only capability to market um, in that we are the only purpose built storage appliance with a built in VMware ESXi hypervisor. So what this allows customers to do is run VMware based applications on the same hardware as they're hosting for storage that's being uh, fed to clients in the more traditional model. And this enables a whole new uh, host of use cases where customers can um, change the way that they're optimized in the core. And also there's a lot of good edge uh, uh, deployments that this, uh, th that this new capability can help enable. So it's, it's, it's you know, being, architecturally advanced in performance, efficiency, and scale up and scale out, and bringing industry only capabilities in our integration, uh, especially with VMware to market that have really resonated with our customers. Tell me about some of those new use cases that the VMware integration is enabling, especially in today's climate with uh, massively scattered workforce that, you know, some big execs predict 50% of the workforce is going to stay remote. We've got the edge expanding with device proliferation. What are yeah. some of the new use cases that, that what Power, Mac, Power Store can deliver uniquely, as you said, is going to be able to drive and help many businesses thrive? Yeah, you, you know, I think that there, there's uh, a change in the way that you can do things in the core, but I think the, the, the new, uh, you know, either remote uh, site or kind of the distributed edge benefits from the ability to do more with less, less. And so if you can have hardware that is able to, you know, provide some compute capability and a lot of storage capability, those applications and use cases that are migrating to the edge or, or to a remote site can be enabled with a single device which leads to you know, easier manageability, lower total cost of ownership than having to deploy multiple, multiple devices. So you great with the stats, you show you, you articulated the value that Dell Technologies set out to establish with PowerStore, all the testing, what you're seeing actually in customer uh, environments, which is fantastic. When you're talking with analysts, looking at what Dell Technologies has done when it's in to develop PowerStore. And like I said, you know, merging technologies from Compellent and Extreme IO, uh, yeah. et cetera. Are analysts looking at this as maybe a benchmark in terms of what storage array companies should be doing? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, there was, was some press that was written when we announced that, that, that the, uh, the release of PowerStore established a new benchmark of what was uh, expected from a mid-range storage array, which is, you know, was, uh, was something that, that uh, was really um, fulfilling, especially all, after all of the work and all of that engineering that we talked about that, that, and the innovation that we had put into it uh, over the course of a multi-year multi journey. And so, you know, what, what, we're, what we're seeing, you know, whether it be from partners, whether it be from analysts, whether it be from customers, is people really understanding that we have um, taken a, a huge step forward in simplifying our portfolio, that we're able to direct our R&D investments into a single platform to bring more and more capability to that platform over time. And that message is resonating very strongly. So wrapping things up here, Power Store is in its first five or six months. And yep. during that time, 
you know, crazy things have happened in the world. We're in a state of still disarray, if you will, no pun intended. What is next for the, the second half of Power Store's first year? How is Dell Technologies going to enable businesses to really continue to get past that survival mode right now yeah. into thriving so that they can be the winners of tomorrow? Yeah. You know, I, I think the, the, the second half of this year, the, the first half of this year was, was all about getting the product out into market, getting people educated on it, getting partners trained up on it, getting those key early wins, you know, establish, establishing that thought leadership on what we're doing with the, with the overall storage portfolio. The second half of this year is really about adoption and getting it into the hands of, of, of more uh, customers, getting it into that, that, you know, enabling our partners to, you know, um, amplify our message into the market. And so I think you're going to, you're going to see a continual drumbeat from us in terms of more adoption, uh, more momentum and more success on Power Store. Uh, and for me, that is the foundation, going back to the architecture comment I made earlier, of good things to come in the future. The architecture is so flexible and is built for the future. And so when new things come, when new media comes, when new uh, uh, you know, interfaces or interconnect te te technologies come, when uh, we uh, you know, invest in even tighter integration with VMware, like uh, at VMworld just a couple of weeks ago, we, we announced that we're partnering with, with VMware on a new um, interconnect technology, NVMe over TCP. That core architecture is so flexible that it can adopt you know, with software upgrades to the way the world is going to be in the future. And so for me, it was getting it out into the market getting it adopted, adopted, and then continuing to provide new features and new capabilities as the market evolves. And as our evolution is sort of unclear, the flexibility that you talked about, the simplification are needed everywhere. I'll take those as well. Travis, thank you so much for sharing with us the momentum for the first half of Power Store's first year and what it, we can look to see in its not just second half, but going forward. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Lisa. My pleasure. For Travis B. Hill, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World 2020, the digital experience.